Hey Joe fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with another action figure review. Today I'm looking at the new Retro Collection Snake Eyes G.I. Joe figure from Hasbro. The packaging has some similarities to the vintage card art. We have a return of the red, white, and blue in the logo, the vintage artwork, and uh, the retro Hasbro logo there on the bottom left. The bubble that the figure is in is noticeably larger, highlighting all of the accessories. They really want you to see the value that you're getting for this figure. Here's a look at the back. There is a file card, if you were worried about that. It does have a file card and a cross cell in the middle and then a bunch of stuff on the bottom. The file card says Roll Commando Primary Military Specialty Infantry Secondary Military Specialty Combat Instructor Birthplace Classified Proficient in 12 Unarmed Fighting Systems Jungle, Desert, and Arctic Survival and that is reset several times in other languages. So we don't have a whole lot of detail like we would on the vintage file cards. Here's a comparison between this retro card and then a 25th anniversary, which was based on the vintage card. Uh, some obvious differences here. You don't have the white border all around. Something you can't see in the video, but this retro card is noticeably thinner. I'm talking dollar store thin here, guys. Um, so be very careful when you're, if you find one of these in the store, make sure you check out that card. If you're a mint on card collector, uh, you want to make sure uh, the card is in good shape. And here's a comparison with the back, and this is really my big negative point for this new retro packaging. If you compare it to the left, beautiful cross cell of like 20 figures, highly detailed file card there on the bottom. On the right, half the card is um, other languages because probably they are cutting costs instead of shipping out one item per language region, separate items, they're producing one item and just sending that out everywhere. So to save costs, we're getting uh, not as nice a packaging and uh, the foul card is lacking too. They don't even say the names of the characters in the cross cell, so you don't even know who they are. Not a huge fan of the retro packaging. And here he is out of the package and all geared up. I have most of his accessories on him. He doesn't, he can't hold all of them, but most of them. And uh, he's looking pretty good. We have seen this basic figure before, first in 2011 and then again in 2016. And here is a comparison with the 2016 version that I have. I think this new retro version might have a slightly lighter shade of black, but I could be wrong. Um, you know, your eyes get, get weaker as you get older, so let me know in the comments if you think there's any differences in the paint. But uh, a, few, a few noticeable changes here. This retro one has a couple additional paint apps, a few spots of gray here and there. His uh, knee pads are a shiny black compared to the gray on the previous release. My, uh, my older one has a bit of a modern wobble to him. Uh, as you can see here, uh, <laughs> wasn't too thrilled with that. But uh, the new one is solid as a rock. So uh, points for the retro guy there. This one, the previous one, has an Arashikage symbol there on his shoulder. The new one does not. He actually does not have the Arashikage symbol anywhere that I can find on the figure or his accessories. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Snake Eyes only having it as a tattoo on his arm. Uh, anyway, uh, the back you can see uh, pretty much the same, just a couple of paint apps. The previous one had that star logo that they were trying to get to be a new logo for the G.I. Joe team, and I don't think it really caught on, but that's missing from this new version. And uh, a couple spots that were black painted gray. But overall, same basic figure. I'm not a huge fan of the knife here. Um, 
it sticks out a little too far. It's a little too loose for me. I mean, it's not going to fall out, but see, it's it's really loose. And from the side, it just looks a little weird to me sticking out that far. So I usually uh, take mine out. He comes with two identical swords and sheaths. These are basic black plastic sheaths, nothing too uh, ornate about them. Uh, basic swords, silver and black grip, nicely sculpted, and they fit in perfectly in the sheaths. The sheaths go in uh, the hole on his back and then the hold a hole on his web gear, and they look pretty good. It comes with this very tiny black pistol, very thin, and it also comes with a silencer that slides on the tip there. It looks pretty good. And this, uh, this little gun goes in the holster on his right thigh. The silencer can slide into that little hole there, and then the gun slides into the side. I'm mostly showing this to uh, those of you that may not have picked this figure up before, just so you know. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Comes with another handgun. It's probably twice as thick as the last one. Uh, nicely sculpted, holds it pretty well. And one of his signature Uzis. I wish he came with two. This is in black plastic. He looks awesome with it. Comes with one additional sword. This is much longer and more detailed than the other two swords. He doesn't have a sheath for it, so uh, he has to hold it. He doesn't have any other way to carry it around, but it's much bigger than the other two swords and quite a bit of detail there on the handle, on the grip, but a, a very nice accessory, nicely done. I'm not sure what this is. It's probably my least favorite accessory he comes with. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's okay sculpted, I guess. The only way you can hold it is here over his shoulder. It's a pretty tight fit. I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm probably not going to be using it. And another silencer, in case you lose the first one. And of course, a black figure stand. I like that they kept the figure stands we're used to with these modern figures on the bottom. Copyright 2007. This figure is very nicely sculpted. Keeps has all the same detail that we're used to with the modern figure. Uh, gets some pretty good poses. Uh, maybe not as uh, as not as many poses as you will with a six-inch classified figure but he holds his weapons well. He has a lot of detail, a lot of accessories. And here is a little comparison with some of the previous releases from the 25th anniversary uh, all the way up through the 50th anniversary. And um, obviously some similarities and some differences, but overall the same basic concept is the same. He is G.I. Joe's resident ninja and uh, he's got the visor all across all these. I think only there were a few figures in the modern line that kept that commando look, but these are all sporting that ninja visor. Let's look at his articulation, and he has a ball joint here on the head, so it's a nice range of motion here, nothing really blocking it too bad. Again, that knife is pretty loose, so he can just knock it out of the way with his chin but great range of motion there on the head. His shoulders come up pretty far, about that far, and you can do a full 360. Single jointed elbows, 90 degree bend there. 360 at the wrist, and then uh, another joint there on the side of the hand. His legs come up about so far, got double jointed knees 360 turn at the ankle and then another up and down joint there as well here's what he looks like without the web gear usually these modern figures tend to not look so good when you take the web gear off I don't think this looks too bad the waist could be a little thicker but uh, here he is without the web gear 
So overall, I would say this is a must buy if you do not have the previous releases of this figure. If you do, then this could be an easy pass because it's the same basic figure with a few additional paint apps and uh, that's, that's about it. The packaging, again, not great. Uh, a half-hearted attempt at recapturing some of the nostalgia of the vintage line, but doesn't quite nail it. So overall, I would say pick it up if you're a completist or you missed the previous releases. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Check out all the other G.I. Joe content here on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.